so this is a classic demonstration, a cloud in a bottle. What we're going to do is we're going to add some air and pressurize it. So the, what happens, you're effectively ever so slightly warming the air inside. And then that warmth will cause the liquid uh, droplets, which are stuck to those particles of smoke, to uh, go back into solution as a vapor. Three, two, one. Kind of. So not much happened. So we will reproduce this demonstration by adding some dust. Uh, similar in, in principle to the dust you get uh, when you uh, live on a prairie or if you're on the open ocean where wind blows salt from the sea into the air and water evaporates leaving tiny crystals of salt. So we'll blow the matches out and drop them in the bottle. So it looks like there's hardly any smoke at all. Furthermore, you might figure the smoke you do see is kind of in a train or in a plume that's right behind the matches. But watch what happens when we pressurize it uh, and then uh, remove the pressure. When you take the pressure off, the air inside will spread out. The molecules are spread, spread out. The energy, the kinetic energy of the molecules will be spread out and they will then effectively cool off. When they cool off, the water vapor in there will turn to a liquid and attach itself to the dust of the smoke. Three, two, one. Ooh, a cloud. It's not magic, my friends. It's science.